I don't even know if I'm going the wrong right way, question mark. Let's see, I'm pretty sure I came off that road. So I think this is the right way. I think. Oh my god, why are they just on the road? Why are they just on the road? I don't understand. These guys are supposed to be cutting wood. Oh my god, it wrecks the car automatically. my robot's still here. I swear, if, if I'm completely wrong about this, uh, can, can I even get back in this way? Shit! I went the wrong way. God damn it. Ah, uh, this sucks. This sucks. I don't even know which way to go. I was pretty close earlier, and now I went away from it. Just slightly miss. Ooh, fucker. Man, I hope Munfish does not make a driving game. Ever. Maybe just take out vehicles from your game. If, like, vehicles are gonna be this slippery. Because this feels like no car. So wait, it's just telling me to go back down. The, the, this is just a way to get back into the open world. Oh my god. Ah. Uh, I hate it here. Oh my god. This sucks. Let me get back in there. Piss off. Oh my god, I wasted that. Reload everything while I still can. I need more ammo. Oh my god. What the fuck are all these guys doing here? 
It's one big circle jerk here. Oh my god. Somehow it found me. I didn't even do anything. Fuck you. these guys hurting. Okay, good. He's dead. Ooh! Asshole almost killed me. Just reload. I totally, I totally dodged that. Who's left? I think it was the white drone somewhere. Yeah, I hear a flying drone, but I don't see him. But I do know that thing is looking for me. First, save and get some ammo. I am here. Please, Please give me some guns. Procedure. Sufficient resources? Hell yeah. Get this baby. God damn, bitch, you are dirty. Let me take that. Some good old-fashioned Russian guns. Hell yeah. Okay, I got five weapons. Yeah, damn, she's dirty. What the hell? So, what will it be, Major? Weapons? Guns? Please. Mm. Storage. Hmm. Alright, so first let me move this one. Move that one over there. Let me auto sort that so it looks a little better. more shotgun shells, so I guess I gotta make those myself. Let's upgrade this thing. Increase damage, decrease recoil. Alright. Put that. Extended magazine. See on map. Calaminator. Do you remove an upgrade to get the resource back? Are you sure? Hold on. go. Upgrade that. So now I just need some ammo. Shotgun shells. God damn, this thing is pretty badass now. Give me all that. 
12 shells. Not the greatest amount, but hey, better than nothing. 77. I am rocking. Okay, now I feel like it can take on an entire army of these robots. Let's see if this thing helps. I was kind of scared for a second there. Oh, yeah. I, I thought I was going to collapse the roof. So then all the stuff would pour in. And then we can probably climb from there. So, where's that head of yours? My head is where it's supposed to be. But Claire's head should be somewhere on your floor. Like I said earlier, something is crushing it with terrible force. Like a migraine. Like an excavator. Like an entire mountain. I get it. I really do. All your whining is giving me a migraine too. I'll go look for it. This guy kind of reminds me of... What's his name from Destroy All Humans? Like that protagonist. Crypto. I'm pretty sure is what he's called. And let me use another one of these. Now auto sort all that shit. Restores health, increases dodge recovery for a short period of time. Oh, maybe I should be using these. Replenish a large amount of the energy of soup. Uh, polymer mix. Transfers energy from the suit storage. Why, what are you doing all the way down here? Head back up this instant. Your suit isn't designed for this kind of pressure. What pressure? Where do you think we are? He was probably crushed under all that water. Probably how he drowned. What pressure? Where do you think we are? Underwater, comrade. Running a check on the deep sea device. Just look, we got fish, sea creatures, and other fauna all around us. Get back up to the surface, frog man. This is interesting. What's interesting is how you can withstand this kind of pressure. If you don't get back to the surface right now, you're a dead man. Off you go, frog man. Keep your left frog up man. And watch where you're going. Steer clear of those rotors. Hey, what's the matter with this guy, Charles? I mean. I get that he's dead and all, but still. This is the neural network's equivalent of PTSD. If a victim dies suddenly, their consciousness can modulate an alternate perception of reality based on their preferences and environment. Oh, I guess that makes sense. Wait, what? I, uh, I'm i very much confused. Wait, what are you doing all the way down here? Head back up the surface. Heading up to the surface, Heading sir. Heading to the surface, sir. Hey, what's the matter with this guy, Charles? I mean, I get that he's dead and all, but okay. Neural net if a victim Oh, I guess that makes sense. I'm pretty sure most of these guys died suddenly, like they were just expecting the robots to work as normal, and then boom, suddenly the robots were assassinating them. What the hell is this? Okay. Interesting. <laughs> Looks like a maze for kids. This will be a cakewalk. Yeah, what the hell am I supposed to do here? Am I supposed to get on the other side? Jumpy little thing, ain't ya? Oh, yeah, I'm supposed to get on, on the uh, right side. How do I rotate you, huh? Oh, God, I got hey, it into a I think bad I get spot. it. Why the hell are we playing this little mini? <laughs> oh god, please. Yeah. Oh. Hold on, I need to see where the hell I'm needing to go here. Now 
now we're getting somewhere. Kind of, are we? Okay, I think I see the way to go. So, I need to get it. I need to make it go up straight. Go that way. Go down. Do you have any idea what you're doing, Major? I really do. Then go this way. Just a sec. Yep, now I got it. Motherfucker! No! Please! P -p Please tell me that the number is set. Okay, good. Nope. Stay there. I need you to stay. Ooh, yep. Okay, go that way. Puzzle's a bit hard, but we are figuring it out. Slowly but surely. Oh. Is it really that difficult? Asshole! I need you to shut the fuck up. Literally, what the hell? Oh, oh, crispy goddamn fucking critters! <laughs> yeah, gotcha. Nice, easy. Soviet Union sure is an amazing place, isn't it? Man, am I ever proud to be a Soviet citizen? What a country! I wholeheartedly agree. Over the last decade, we've made magnificent strides in science and technology. Is, is her head like awake right now? I'm trying to figure out where is her head. Oh! Oh, it was being crushed by this entire thing. I was wondering where the hell it was. Uh, I, I thought there would be something up here for me. Living rags up high, the mass ran down, or like a wave elated, rolled itself on and crackled as if frying. First, I just want to see what's over here. Is this the exit? Okay, it's a save room. Oh, that this is how I get back. Okay. Yeah, but there's going to be a battle down here. I know it for sure. Alright, girl. Stop talking. Damn, your head's looking at least fine for being crushed. Yes, found the head. We gotta keep moving. Charles, any idea how much time we got left? I cannot say for sure. But definitely not much. Finally! I got all her parts. Play's glitching out a little. Uh, 
At least so the what hologram. was wrong with the real beta connectors? Since Collective was originally planned without any discretionary authority, everyone in it was supposed to be equal. Yeah, we already talked about that. Then why'd they need the beta connectors? To secure Collective against unforeseen threats from individuals who might wish to control it. So how could beta connectors stop this from happening? They didn't give their carriers any discretionary authority, but they did allow them to be present within Collective without being a part of it. In other words, they had total autonomy while retaining access to the information network. So what? That's basically what we have right now. You're seeing this from a human perspective. What other kind of perspective could I... Oh, crap. The boss wanted to put beta rings on some robots so no one else in Collective could control them. Indeed they are. At first, Dr. Sechenov planned to order his loyal twins to guard the Alpha Connector. While logged into Collective, he could control them from anywhere on Earth. At the same time, no one else would be able to give them orders. They wouldn't even know that they exist. Hold on, Charles. <laughs> I don't quite get it. Would it be possible to launch Collective with everybody equal, then destroy the Alpha Connector? Certainly, but that begs another question. Who would choose to do that? God damn this fucking robot! Okay. Jesus Christ. Hold on. Fuck. At first, I felt like my assault rifle was pretty powerful, and now I think it's kind of a piece of crap. To be 100%. Oh, that shield's a real pain in the ass. Alright. Man, I forget to keep using these robots. They're, they are right here for me to use. But yeah, I'm like... Man, I'd rather fight these guys directly. Did I ever go in here? This place looks different. Actually, I'm pre pretty sure this is where I fought the Diet Carnage. Yeah, yeah, this is where I fought Diet Carnage. Motherfucker! Fucker! Hate you. <laughs> Want to figure out where those plants are so I can open that door. I know there's some good shit in there. Does this help me identify where it could possibly be? Because I found most of them. Okay, well, uh, I guess 
Might as well not worry about it. Guess it's a whatever. A whatevs. Probably wouldn't even give me anything too great anyway. Now you're complete, girl. You're all right. back together. Installing the head. Double two, seven, nine, nine, one, zero, zero. Oh. Hey, rise and shine. Good morning to you. Thank you. All her body parts assembled. What now? Self repair procedure complete. I am ready for service. Thank you, comrade. We will now initiate the launch sequence. Please confirm the launch sequence. Second launch code sequence generated. Launch code sequences match. Initiating BDNH mode of operational change. New mode, military drill. Whew, I think we made it. Thanks, ladies. Thank you, dear comrade. Oh, here's the guy. Please, comrade Molotov, I beg you. It's not safe here. So it's still dangerous. I was told everything was under control. There was a minor issue, but Major Nichaev, uh, forgive me, Agent P3 has already dealt with it. What exactly did he deal with? There's blood all over the place. That's not blood. It's paint. Comrade Sechenov, you're playing a dangerous game here. Greetings, Comrade Molotov. I don't follow you. What game? You know what I'm talking about, Comrade Sechenov. Your local malfunction is actually a worldwide catastrophe. Your robots in combat mode, countless human casualties. Need I go on? Oh, please do. But first I'd like to know how you obtained this information. From Viktor Vasilievich Petrov, your engineer. An outstanding roboticist, an honored citizen of the Soviet Union. That's what he used to be. Now he's prisoner number 230385, sentenced to community service at the Vavilov complex. By your order, you are in direct violation of Soviet law. As a minister, the minister of industry, you know the consequences. Here is the procurator general's decree. The upcoming launch of the collective neural network will be canceled, and you'll be the subject of a full-fledged investigation. Am I making myself clear, Comrade Sechenov? Sechenov. Comrade Molotov, may I have a word with you in private? <laughs> Do you really think that's going to change anything? <laughs> Fine. I'll meet you here in 15 minutes. Mikhail, meet me at the landing pad. Right away, sir. I I'm sorry, sir. Go ahead, go ahead. <laughs> Aren't you in a hurry to see your master, Major? Stockhausen seems awfully eager. Is something wrong, Major? Major, I asked you a question. Lock the door. What's going on? I said lock the door. 